Today we are going to be learning about how to bed in brakes on your bike. Last episode we built up my RSD Sargent and uh, today we need to bed in the brakes. If you've ever ridden a brand new bike at a bike shop and you're taking it out for the parking lot test and you realize, man, these brakes feel awful, they have no bite. Chances are it's not the brakes, it's just that they haven't been bedded in right. And since this is a brand new bike with brand new rotors and brand new pads, it's time to bed this in. Now bedding is the process of transferring pad material to the rotor. The rotors have microscopic little pores and rough surfaces on the edge of them. And what this is going to do, it's going to cook some of the brake pad material onto the rotor, forming a nice, sticky, super slick surface for it to grab to. Cars do this, motorcycles do this, and you should do it on your bike as well. So what we're gonna do is systematically transfer that material onto the rotor. So, if you just go on a ride and go bombing down the hill and stuff, it will transfer, but you could transfer too much. It could get too hot and actually glaze over instead of cooking it on correctly. So what we're gonna do is ride along in this parking lot and do 10 passes dragging the brake. And slow down, not aggressively, just kinda drag to transfer the material. And then we're going to go a little bit faster, a little bit more aggressive, but never coming to a full stop because that those pads are grabbing the rotor and they're staying longer in that one spot and they're cooking on there and they're transferring more material in that one spot. You don't want that because when you start riding, you'll feel that and it won't be even throughout. Here we go, we'll start with the back brake. After about six passes, you're gonna start feeling the brakes working and feeling really good. Keep going, we're gonna keep transferring that material on there until it feels great. Now the back brakes have heated up and transferred that resin onto the rotor. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the front brake. And that's where most of your stopping power comes from, so this will be more noticeable. Notice I'm staying seated through this whole drill. That keeps my body weight consistent. If I'm standing up, it'll dive a little bit more when I brake, and I just wanna keep it consistent. Consistency is the name of the game in this procedure. If you want, you can also pedal through these coasts so that you can get a little bit more heat transfer between the two. This isn't rocket science, and if you deviate from this, you're not gonna break anything, but it's best to just concentrate on trying to be as systematic as possible. And that's it. Now we've transferred material from our pads to our rotors. They're evenly cooked on all sides. I didn't come to any harsh stops and now I'm gonna let it cool and bake on there and now my brakes are gonna be grippier than ever. I hope that helps. It's surprising how few people know about this trick and just ride their bike and deal with subpar brakes. Easy to do, it's fun, and you can actually feel the difference. Thanks for watching. There's a party in the mountains and you're invited.